So we need to find an MIS way to do um, the Liat screws. And as, uh, as you will see here, the MIS option is in between both techniques that you saw. It's not a true iliac uh, screw and it's not a true s 2 ladder. So it's, you will see it's halfway. But uh, definitely it just, you go just at the joint and then you get through the iliac and then pretty much you end up with a similar trajectory. And the reason is because if you really want to pass uh, this rod percutaneously, you go for the next uh, slide, you really need to have a good trajectory. So next, so you're looking here in these two images. Uh, yes, okay, so you're looking there, the Jamshiri needle actually is hitting the iliac pillar, as you see right there. And then, um, so you see that you're on the other side of that image um, where, you look on the other side of the iliac crest, so you have to go through the, a posterior sacroiliac ligament and the uh, interosseous sacroiliac ligament. Actually, you, you get almost into the joint, and then you hit the iliac pillar, and then you go from there. Go next, click on that, as you see there. So it's in between the uh, uh, PSSI and the, and the inferior uh, posterior iliac spine. And then next, and you see a trajectory is very low, more flat than the regular iliac screws, but then you end up exactly in the same area. So go next. And as you see here, it's one of the cases, you see the entry point on the left screen, you see the joint right there, it's very low on the joint, and then, um, let's go over the next one, and then you want to be very close to the sciatic notch, as you see on the AP, and then again, you are uh, inside of the teardrop, next. As you see there, next. So once you advance, you're trying to keep, actually, you get very easily into a teardrop, but it's a difference, you get in the bottom of the teardrop, and then you're working up, actually, superiorly, from the inferior part of the teardrop going way up. A little bit different than we saw with the other two techniques open, yeah? And the only reason is because you really want to have a very lateral entry point and a very low entry point. So you have time for the rod to have some adjustment and bending because, as you know, percutaneously, uh, cross link, uh, sorry, cross connectors are not even an option, yeah? There's no way to put them. So next slide. And then you see here, just same uh, technique that we use percutaneous. You put a guy wire and then you tap. And is, I'm just calling everything that uh, uh, Tyler and, and uh, how you say that uh, if you don't really tap, you can break screws and it's the same thing. So you really have to tap through and through and uh, always trying to stay inside the uh, teardrop. Next. And then you see here, once you put them, next. Next slide. And then it's a video, you see the trajectory. You see it go through the SI joint and then it stay in the Leah crest all the way through that. Next. And then you see how they look like an X kind of shape when the towers are out. Go next. And then this is pretty much what you see. So you're doing like in this case T10 to iliac and you see that little uh, stab wounds on the left. You don't have too much landmarks to, to see where the heads are and, you, and how you connect it. And then you see in the middle view, uh, the, at the uh, bottom you see that two uh, towers, one uh, almost uh, making an X figure on that. So the challenge is how can you pass a road and connect it all the way through T10 without seeing anything into that. So that's why you need the entry point very low and as lateral as possible. Uh, next. And then this is kind of how it looks. You see there is a good distance between the S1 and the uh, iliac screws as you see there. Next. And then you see, um, this is another picture of that next one. And then you see here on the lateral, see how awkward uh, bending the rod sometimes takes. And uh, the reason is because um, uh, the only way to connect them, them is you have to let the rod to make the bending. So you need good space between S1 and iliac so the system can use. And in this case, I was using this uh, robotic, um, I would say computerized way to uh, automatically uh, bend the rod for you and fits very good through the heads of that. That is uh, some companies have it uh, commercially available. And then next, 
So, uh, so let's try to do it in here, okay? So we have this uh, specimen, so the entry point, usually the best way to do it, obviously, is most of the time you have a lot of uh, previous screws, and this is, uh, uh, we have some interference there with the, just gonna take it out one second so he can, I can show them. So usually you have multiple entry points in here. So you have, you're, you're working your way from T10 to S1 and it's not complicated to make the um, incision, but let's say that you don't have any of the incisions, where is the entry point? So the best way is if you're looking here on the x-ray, we're gonna try to find in a regular straight AP shot, just come in here. So uh, you're going to see on the screen, uh, we want to be in the bottom of the S1 pedicles on the AP shot. Let's take a shot there. Okay, so you look on there, um, can you lower your machine so we have less magnification? So you see here, we're working, you know, kind of on the lower part of the uh, S1 uh, pedicles. And then give like a five degrees of the uh, inlet view. The other way, the other way, okay. Right there. So you look there. So, and then 10 degrees, so your five or 10 degrees on the AP inlet view it gives you an idea of where is to make the incision on the skin. So you see that you are pretty much from the top of the pedicle of S1 when you have five to 10 degrees of the inlet view to the a bottom of the pedicle when you are zero degrees on that. So now I'm gonna make the um, incision. So the incision uh, can be, you know, no more than one inch as you look in here. So you make a small incision, midline, yeah? And then the incision in here is only on the skin. Then what you do is you find your way to get lateral, so you feel the, uh, the, the spinous process of the sacrum, and then you move lateral, and then what you do is, remember the open specimen that uh, Tyler, uh, they show up, so you're trying to feel the posterior uh, holes of the sacrum itself, you know? And then, uh, what it should be the uh, S2 alar entry point is almost what you want to use as, a, as your landmark. Then uh, you, you place your jump sheet needle right there, but as a difference, you go lateral into the a, um, uh, joint itself, and then you take your picture right there. Take a picture right there. So I'm feeling here, I'm feeling a wall, so you know that, that you are can we put the, the camera this way so they can see what I'm doing? Let's see, we can have um So you look on the x-rays on the, on the right, you see how low is the entry point compared to the two other techniques that you saw. So it's very close to the a, a pelvic brim, but also uh, just at the uh, iliac, um, uh, at, the sac at the SI joint. So you look that, if you were doing an S2 ALAR, probably the entry point was, I'm gonna put a little marker in here. Take a picture there. So the S2 ALAR will be probably around where this ball probe is going to be. Let's see if I can put it somewhere in here, picture. Something around here, picture. So you see here, the difference is this one is actually in the joint itself, yeah? So now, once you get there, you make sure that you're feeling that you are in the, in, the, in the pillar of the iliac, then you start getting your entry point, yeah? Then you take a picture there. The first thing that you do is you correct that you're not getting into the sciatic notch, as you see here. I get a little bit, I already crossed the joint, and I'm in the iliac screw, on the iliac bone itself, and then we're gonna try to look for the uh, teardrop, yeah? So you get a teardrop image. So basically, you need two images. One image is the... Uh, uh, inlet, five to 10 degrees, and then the other one is the teardrop image, yeah? If you have navigation, you can do it on the navigation, but if you don't have um, uh, the system of navigating, so you actually need just a regular fluoroscopy AP and the teardrop uh, view that is kind of an oblique uh, image. So take a picture there. So you look in here, you see where the jump sheeting needle is. It's in the bottom of the teardrop. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay inside the teardrop. So we're gonna, so you look in here, the challenge is instead of going from top to bottom, we're going kind of from bottom, wake our way up and make sure that we don't go too lateral. So go back again. So now we're gonna start advancing the, um, the, um, the jump sheeting needle. So it's the same thing, you have the feeling, make sure that you are 
into the bone, then take an IP again on five to 10 degrees on the inlet view. And then make sure that we are as close as possible to the sciatic notch. Move a little bit towards you so we see what. And then I like to see also where the uh, lower your machine so we can see where the acetabulum is because your direction should be uh, ideally through acetabulum or the, the top part of that. Show the picture again. as you see right here, okay? So we just, and the closest you are the sciatic notch, the better, because remember that's cortical bone. So your purchase is gonna be much, much better. Now let's go back to the uh, teardrop um, image. So now we need to make sure, and this, you have to make sure this, this, this uh, trajectory likes to be on the lateral side of the uh, teardrop. So most of the time you're trying to correct, how can I be a little more medial than what I have to? So we're gonna take the, um, the oblique view. I don't see nothing. It just give us a better, it doesn't look too good. Let's open a little more the, uh, and also don't forget that the teardrop, you can manipulate it multiple times. So, so it looks to, looks to uh, what is that? That's the one that we have there? Okay, so it looks uh, better on the, here on the, on the um, machine than on the screen. Okay, that's better. So you see here, we're in the lateral side of the teardrop, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start correcting, working our way medial. Okay, come out again. So we're gonna get in here. Picture right there? Yeah. So now we're gonna take another picture. Every time we do something, we just make sure that we're not getting into the sciatic uh, notch. Again, the same, it's an AP, five to 10 degrees oriented. So don't forget I don't have any uh, visual landmarks in here in terms of uh, where I go. Now you see here, we passing the sciatic notch uh, very good. Now we take one more teardrop and then the next step is just to put the um, uh, guy wire and then we tap and place the uh, screw. So we, we are, um, make sure that we're not breaking lateral. And in, in this, uh, you know, it's very easy to know even when you go with the jump sheet needle when you're breaking lateral because you have this resistance. So you want to make sure that the mallet is going uh, smooth as, as you move the jump sheet needle into the you see here, you know, the tip is inside and containing to that. So now we're gonna put the guy wire. Let's come out. So we put the guy wire. So we use it also to feel, make sure that we don't feel anything, anything uh, soft as you have in here. Then you take the guy wire out. Then you use the tap. And tapping again is important like in the open techniques because you can break a lot of screws you get there. And then don't forget that we're trying to work our way to be a little bit more on the medial side. So see, I'm lifting my hand to correct a little bit that medial angulation. Then we're gonna take a picture in here just to make sure where we are. How can I take this handle out? Here? That's the way there. So we're gonna take the handle out so we can have a better uh, view Kind of stock. Okay. Yeah, he's gone. Okay, just uh, take a picture in here, the um, AP and the uh, drop of water. Okay, so it looks that we're on track. We're crossing the um, the um, no, the uh, SI joint already. Show us the um, the two drop. Correct. You have a needle holder. So usually in the real cases, the, the guy wire can be a problem. So notice what I'm going to do in here, put a little needle holder at the end, and that way I can bend it. So the, the x-ray tech can come with his machine with no problem, and you don't contaminate the, the uh, drapes the drapes of the uh, fluoroscopy. Okay, so it looks very good as you see here, it's contained, so come out. 
So you see here, every time there's a different from the open techniques, we're working at the bottom of the teardrop. The advantage is that, as you know, that's the widest part that we have for landing uh, with the screw. So actually make the technique uh, very easy. Okay, so we're gonna advance a little bit more. And then um, we're gonna come back, and then we're gonna put the screw. So a lot of turnings. You make sure that you don't lose your wire, yeah, like any uh, MIS technique. And then uh, we go with the screw. So same diameter, same size, you know, eight to 10 um, um, centimeters and 80 to 100. And then, you know, A5 or 85, uh, 8.5 diameters and then uh, same thing, you go with the screw. And then the important thing is you need to make sure the screw go deep, all the way deep. One of the good things is because you start, your starting point is at the, a, um, um, just behind the SI joint. Actually, these heads are very deep into that, so we don't have the problem of having any, um, let's take the uh, guy wire now out, so we have a good picture. So we don't have any problems in terms of uh, uh, the head of the screw coming out to be too much superficial. Okay, let's take a picture in here. So we're gonna take one more picture and then uh, we just uh, continue advancing the screw and then that's pretty much uh, the technique. So let's take the, uh, you see how nice we uh, get close to the, to the uh, sciatic notch. So we're trying to take advantage of that cortical bone there and then get the, the teardrop. And, uh, one more teardrop and then I think we'll be done. So um, what's next uh, for us um, um, there on the main audience? Any questions, anything you guys um, want me to answer? Excuse me, Chris. So you see here, if you look on that, the screw is contained into the uh, drop, uh, the teardrop, and we just need to keep advancing and it's gonna work from inferior to superior. So uh, come out. So any uh, questions, Rod, or whatever, whoever is there? Charlie, Tyler, someone? One, I think everybody fell asleep during your demonstration. Oh, that's great. You know, I didn't want- I can pay for the Starbucks, everybody. I didn't want to hurt your feelings, but actually most of the fellows have left. Okay. So it's, it's okay. just, I think it's Chris, Charlie, and I are the only- How can I take this?